Okay, this is day 50, part seven. Uh, this is Carroll Creek, a little beautiful little creek in um, downtown Frederick. And you can see that uh, it looks like a replica of the Stone Bridge, uh, Burnside's Bridge uh, at the very, very famous Battle of Antietam. Lots of Union soldiers died trying to get across this bridge. I don't think this is, the real bridge is about 20 miles away. I think this bridge is a lot smaller, but you can imagine being on this side making the decision that you're probably gonna die if you go over that bridge. And that's exactly what happened for a lot of Union soldiers. But anyway, I wanted to get a few thoughts about Mark Lambert down. Uh, he did talk about the uh, uranium business. Uh, when During the tour, I asked several questions of him about the, that. Um, he did um, have a very strong knowledge. Uh, it's hard to believe that, you know, with the language school <laughs> and all the, the knowledge of all the different station chiefs and CIA station chiefs and so forth, that he wouldn't have had friends in the CIA or very close ties to the CIA. Um, he is a logistics expert, as everyone knows. He did have very intense training. So um, that we, we do have that uh, task force filmed it. Um, I really don't want to cut it. Uh, but in his own words, I think maybe a, a couple of cuts from that might be interesting to folks to have him in his own words talk about it. But he knew he was being filmed, but he, it was kind of a little bit, you know, we started asking all the national security questions at the end. So, uh, but I did identify myself as a reporter, my name and where I was based and so forth. So it was, it was, it was ingenuous. So uh, my general feeling is um, he, he said he and, and Condry got out of the business just about a year and a half ago. Um, so it's, it's interesting that it was that recent. And this whole idea of putting Campbell up there to testify, if Devin Nunes, for instance, knew that the guy who ran the whole operation for more than 10 years is right up here 30 miles away, <laughs> why would you want to talk to, why would you want to talk to Campbell? I wouldn't. I'd say, hey, give me the guy who ran the whole show, who went from the logistics uh, company, uh, you know, the logistics skills in Greece, brought it here, uh, started the company. He said he was in that business 20 years, 20 years. That's the guy I want testifying in front of Congress for me.